Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new exciting episode of Terrifying Thursdays Presents Alan Wake. We are picking up right where we left off on our way to Cauldron Lake. So my fellow fans of terror, my fellow lovers of the macabre and spooky, please grab your favorite beverage, throw in those headphones, close those blinds, grab your favorite snack, Turn out the lights, and let's get into the action, shall we? Like we're going to be driving again to Cauldron Lake, hopefully. Hope everyone is doing well today. I'm doing a bit of what I used to do. Holy... Whoa! I'm trapped! Drive! Batteries. Uh, what gun do I have currently? No, I think I'm good with this one. Reload. To get more intense, the closer we get to Cauldron Lake. I don't want to leave any darkness residue around if I can help it. Let's hope one of these vehicles would work. And as always on Terrifying Thursdays, any manuscripts we have found are not yet read. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to save the shotgun in case one of those big guys shows up. Whoa! 
Flare! Flashbang, flashbang. Okay, flare it is. I need to keep making my way forward. Okay, manuscript page. Great. Switch back over to the pistol. Another truck. Awesome. I drive up there? There. Or is this leading me into a trap? You have to forgive me if I'm distrusting. Read. All visitors must see yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver for entering the yard. If you're looking for specific parts, ask for it first. For you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wear protective clothing. Junk piles may shift. Has
Not gonna switch to hunting rifle. Please, yes, please. Please. Those flashbangs come in handy. I hit a thing, but I don't know what it did. Must have activated something. Oh, I activated that. Okay. This really was not meant for this kind of driving. container out of my way. There had to be a way to power up the container lift. Here. Actually. Yep, I see. Thank you. Some flares, some more batteries. Oh, my battery limit's been reached. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope, choked it. Nope, choked it again. Alright, 
Get in the truck. Any minute now, container lift. Another truck. Great. where we will uh, wrap this episode of Terrifying Thursdays and go over some manuscript pages. But we're going to wrap this episode up, folks. We're going to listen to some manuscript pages. I think we're on... We have some from episode 5. After we listen to these, I'll do my wrap-up. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story. But the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. 
The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there. Trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. And that will do it for this episode of Alan Wake, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this terrifying Thursday. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please think of leaving a, leaving a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And hit that bell notification so you get notified when new series go live as well as new episodes. And keep an eye on the community page. I'll be updating that a lot more. Make sure I'm getting to a schedule to update that to let folks know what's going on. As always, please make sure to hydrate, medicate if you have to, eat some good food, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other. And for this episode of Alan Wake, this is Callan Hale and Alan Wake signing off.